this is Dave Eisenberg here with Brewbound. Uh, we're here in Portland for CBC at the Aladdin Theater. To my right, we have Sam Caligioni, the founder of Dogfish Head and one half of the seminal hip hop duo, Pain The Pain Relievers. Sam, thank you for having us. Good, um, to, see you. Good to see you, David. And uh, we're here to chat a little bit about some of the uh, artistic endeavors that, that Dogfish Head has undertaken over the past few years, Some a lot of music collaborations and uh, sponsoring Record Store Day this year. So, uh, Sam, if you don't mind uh, just giving us a quick rundown of some of the stuff you guys have been doing. Sure. Well, I think, uh, you know, the overlap between the craft beer community and the music community is huge. Very rarely do you go to a brewery and there's not uh, music playing while people are brewing or hanging out in a brew pub or a tasting room. And I think especially there's a, a great affinity for hip hop and indie rock in the craft beer world. And I think that's because both of them really started as these kind of niche marginal kind of genres in a world dominated by a few more homogenous giant kinds of kinds of music and their trajectories are very similar you know hip hop's broken through to the mainstream as has indie rock and it's great to see craft beer really breaking through to a wider audience so that's part of why we we love doing what we do with music so uh, we, we've spoken before uh, in the past about uh, your poster series, the seasonal poster series that you guys do. And uh, you mentioned, uh, you know, obviously you guys are all about artistic, these artistic endeavors, but you've also mentioned uh, that it, it's not completely altruistic. There's a, there's a sense that it actually helps the, the bottom line here. Uh, so how, how do these things sort of help uh, Dogfish Head from a business standpoint? Well, I mean, you know, I think, uh, you know, in the case of the beers that we do with different bands, they're obviously a revenue stream. So in that sense, there's a, a financial uh, component to it. But also when you work with artists, whether it's rock and roll poster artists uh, or, uh, you know, the musical artists themselves, once you're doing something with them, to some extent, then what they're all about kind of informs the Dogfish Head logo as well. They're kind of part of our journey and, and we're part of theirs. And it really helps us to sort of differentiate ourselves uh, in, in, in craft beer. Similarly to like tonight at the Aladdin, you'll see a poster with all our homies that we invited to serve their beer at what's technically our event. So we rented out the venue and could, could have just served our own beer. But you know, we got our friends from New Belgium here tonight, Sierra Nevada. Uh, funky, funky Buddha, uh, post brewing, Ninkasi. So we invited all these folks because we really do see, believe, uh, you know, a, a rising tide floats all ships, and uh, you know the music's a part of that for us. Is there a sense at all of maybe, uh, you know, a, a fan of Robert Johnson maybe sees Hellhound in the store and they might not, might not have known Dogfish Head and they maybe pick that bottle up, you know, because because of the label essentially. Is there yeah. uh, any of that going on with with some of the stuff you guys are wheeling out? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. You think of the Grateful Dead, and they've got just a giant grassroots following, you know, much bigger than dogfishes, I would say, but similar in that we're both very grassroots, kind of human scale, uh, you know, artistic sort of entities that also are, are have a financial uh, component to us as well. Their tours and our, our, our beers, their music. Um, but we're also fairly conscious to not just do projects with bigger bands like the Grateful Dead or, uh, you know, Bitches Brew, uh, you know, uh, Miles Davis's family. We intentionally choose some smaller bands uh, to do projects with, um, you know, like Juliana Barwick, who's uh, more like a, a surreal kind of instrument, instrumental kind of indie artist out of Brooklyn, or to, or Bonnie Prince Billy, Will Oldham, who's a great friend of mine. I was visiting him in Kentucky last week. So maybe they're not as mainstream a name as a Pearl Jam or even, you know, a, a Tone Loke, uh, but they're awesome at what they do, and we want to celebrate their off-center journey uh, by, by inviting them to spend some time on ours. Awesome. Yep. Uh, Sam, thanks so much for taking the time out. Thank you, David. Sam Caligioni. Cheers.